Greetings, fellow Ambazonians. This one, a Chairman Capo Daniel, I come for na today live for this broadcast for give an update about what really happened for the most populous city for Ambazonia, the heart of our resistance. For instance, Bamenda, Chia Street, and up to Commercial Avenue. What did happen? I say, following an attack where the ADF then launched and for instance, Bamenda, where they come born to motor them, the Camarondia the Camarondia impose, make a call them impose SDO, his, his signed an illegal document banning our Okada boy, the middle no worker for night after six o'clock. We don't always talk, say, during time for war, when the enemy it takes such an illegal action, the right course of action for we as a people then, when a thing we done the one for the past 80 years, now for explain for our population and the Okada people then, say me then disregard this order where they deal than send them, me then fight them, me then resist them by themselves for come up for continue for violate the order where they do that gap and for go for ego challenging right for day would we'll encourage our lawyer them for ground zero me they also do likewise because number one thing there is no law in cameroon we authorize the sdu for ban commercial bike people them their movement or restrict their movement during commercial hour there is no law we give it that power so the the SDO act illegally. He never quote any law for Cameroon Constitution. The document we sign them, he quote now the presidential degree where the appointee. That presidential degree do not give him the power to control or regulate the bikes in town. Those are illegal actions that must be seen as illegal. These are criminals. This SDO now a criminal. He punish our people for no just reason. But we know which way it happened. Say, in reality, would they are the state of war? How you do conduct yourself during this time of war, it is show whether you do fight now for free your people, them, or you do revolt. When them ban our Okada, them, I think the last, the first time they start ban Okada, the Bamenda, I become, I be call out a general protest. I be talk to me, all man, we stop, we stay for house, so I be call for a lockdown by our civilian, them asking indicate themselves the drivers union them the, ta the taxi drivers union almost go for house for show solidarity with the bike people if it happened for one day the next day will uplift that that uh, that call for for massive protest and we call the our, our bed skin and continue for violate that law it will be very difficult to be arrest some of them they be marched as as a group then go for the governor office and tell them say that law it be illegal they fight and so they stop so now wait what the CM for Bamenda na say wait. The AF I have they don't come, they don't want to impose on our people a color for taxi. See me then spend the blue and white color for taxi. They don't come say the one for ban motor the me motor they no worker after that hour way the SU it don't talk say make the bike they no work for night for six o'clock. The ADF they don't talk now say they don't want me motor them to work up for night for eight o'clock for six o'clock. The problem I say the only means for deliver goods for our people then are through those motor. And with the insecurity, the most motor the way they carry chop for market and all those things that they do work enough for night. Before people they do we could sell their market for, for morning time, they did transport themselves for night. So our population need that tra that transportation for night. Now either motor they work up for night, go up and down. Commercial activity they will always take place to prepare before market day they don't come for night. So they don't talk to the one for maintain this ban indefinitely. They, they punish our driver them, burn more to them. Nobody say they, they convince them. Because in a popular uprising, when you fight for people, them you need to act without those people. You act in concert with those people. You need to force yourself upon those people. You need to convince people that mean do something will be right. Because without that collaboration from the population, there is nothing the soldiers can do. The soldiers will just be wasting themselves. But because we get leaders who are not popular amongst our people, we have leaders who are not accepted by our people. Because our people have recognized that these people are fighting only for their own interests. They are projecting themselves over the population. They are fighting for dominance. They are not fighting to liberate our people because their strategy 
on the ground do not reflect any fight that is for liberation of our people. That is the problem. So, we all know the madness behind this ban for, for taxi color, yellow, yellow taxi color. We all know, say, no man for Ambazonia, even if we want, and will not get that power for change taxi color them. If our taxi driver then want to change taxi color them, they know if do them under this occupation. If we be then control some part for Ambazonia, we will be talking we'll some district, we'll get some town for Ambazonia, we'll be under our control. How other rebel for Africa did they control some part them? We fulfill make law them for that particular place where it fulfill be respected by our people without any threat from a foreign uh, from a foreign army. But that one is not been at the case for Ambazonia. That one is not been at the case for Ambazonia. So this cause said the one for for, for imposed call of a taxi. It not be warranted. Now thing we it punish our own people. They make them the primary target for the voices. It need help we in any way. It is not realistic. It is an extreme position. It is a position that set our soldiers against our population and continue to inflict pain on our people that is unnecessary. So fellow Ambazonians, today I want to give on this background before we end up with the help of Obaminda. We don't condemn this ban for taxi color, yellow taxi color. Yellow taxi color has been in our territory from the beginning of uh, West Cameroon, Southern Cameroon, whatever name you can call it. Our territory have always have yellow taxi. So this thing that I have achieved is saying that taxi should be yellow, blue and white when we are under occupation, according to him. We know our situation is that we are being oppressed by Cameroon. The central government of Cameroon is discriminating against us. This is what we know. So people who have taken over the, the, the dominance of this struggle, not in a positive way, but to give a narrative that undermines our struggle are the biggest problem we face today. So I will take on a Megu go for Bamenda. Megu na see the result for which really happened. So this one So this one na thing we happen for Chair Street for Bamenda. When I go see say the population then did them for they no man no bar run. When I hear from the commentary, when I will hear the people their attitude towards the ADF, we did happen for Bamenda. They don't come again for Chia Street. They don't ambush our taxi them. Then just come out with heavy gun them. Ambush taxi them. Burn taxi for Kemis, City Kemis Junction and also for around Chia Street. So now two places in the way they don't burn two taxi them for town. When I see the result of this Ayabachu in nonsense, he not be in synchronology with anybody from Ambazonia. He's not in support of our people. It is there to destroy their private property for no reason, for no reason at all. Imposing a draconian law that does not make sense, that even the Ayabacho himself acknowledged that everybody is anxious, everybody is angry, everybody is upset about this nonsense, so-called imposing of taxi blue and white color in Bamenda. The taxi color in southern Cameroon is always yellow. During the time of Jongu Foncha, the taxi was yellow. So where is this nonsense coming from? To inflict pain on our own people. Liberators focus on attacking the, ar the army, the police, the gendarme, the instrument that the Cameroon government is using to oppress our people. True liberators do not focus on attacking our own population. They focus on attacking the enemy. Instead of ADF, with all the weapons that they have shown you, to go and attack the Cameroon army, the gendarmes, the GEO and the SDO and the governor, who are oppressing our own people, they focus on attacking our own people. So if the Cameroon government is banning Okada from driving at 6 p.m., why are you going to attack the people who are suffering from that ban? Why are you attacking the people 
that you claim you are protecting from the Cameroon government. Why don't you go and attack the Cameroon government? So, when I see now the curse this from Bazonia, now our population, they don't become so used to this violence, where they don't become numb. No man ever run with the shooting of gun, Okada they receive pass, people they receive go about their day-to-day -day business. I have a children for social media. It announced and say ADF it and key three Cameroon <laughs> three Cameroon military people them in your own imagination. Now delusional people them where they know they live in reality. So the the killing of the Cameroon military I have a children post on our Facebook page. Now they attack against our own civilian. They ambush against our own civilian. The last time they talk say ADF he carry out IED attack for inside Bali. It happens say they attack now a private car, killing civilians them inside. This year alone, from January to today, as I talk for now, ADF it done key 39 civilian, innocent civilian, equal the amount of Amazonian fighter with Sakoi and Kresano then kill and Fubui. So maybe we see the reality and we go understand why we come for the conclusion, we will come for that conclusion. Maybe we watch Obamenda and I want me to pay attention. For the commentary for people there. Get it, say fire. You put your own bone taxi. The motor they were, they don't broke this your motor. Hey, scatter. When I see people that motor they were, they land this car. See which car scatter. See, see another man motor. See motor say scatter. See the one. The bone one a bone. See the man own motor. See which car. So when I go talk say I have the fight now for who? You fight now for the taxi driver, for the population, you fight now for who? So you are so disconnected to our people. You are you are so extreme that even a Nimpo co from primary school can see that you are a problem in our society. And let us play the rest of the video for everybody to see. When I see victims the way their property they run loss, the people the way they run bond their motor, taxi na an entire saving of a family, taxi driver, he taxi na seen the way they don't go take loan them, or go take taxi. Now people their family then that their livelihood. Begin and they will wait to that taxi, now you go bring the money for chop, now you go pay house. Now you go sustain their family. So when they did they were all their project then about that taxi. You short man for no way, wicked man. You don't come bond the taxi for no reason. Are we not supposed to be fighting for our people to guarantee them a prosperous life? But there you see Ayabacho, look at what he is doing. And all now in the name of Ambazonia. So a criminal carrying out such activity. In the name of Ambazonia, tarnish, tarnish the reputation of the whole struggle. So that even if you are a good soldier, you are a good activist, whatever you are doing is undermined by the extreme act actions of a few in a group of Ayabacho. That is the problem we have. No matter how good a Amazonian soldier you are, no matter how good and well organized you are to focus on the enemy, action from extremists like Ayabacho will overshadow, will overwhelm whatever you are doing. So look at a young man who is a cripple. His entire saving, entire property have been gone, burned down by Ayabacho for, for nothing. He has done nothing just because his taxi is yellow. Taxi in Ambazonia have always been yellow. Taxi will always be yellow. You don't even have the power to liberate the town or to free even one post, gendarme post or police post. But yet you want to impose law on our people. Why can't we use guerrilla tactics against the enemy? Instead, you, you are ambushing our, our taxis. ADF, with all your weapons, you go to ambush our own taxi. They are setting our boys up to destroy them. They are setting our boys up to turn the population against them. Because the population cannot accept such crimes. It is not possible for any human being to allow themselves to be abused to this extent without them taking actions. Make we play the rest of the video more now, watch out. 
So make the Mama Wali, the Immaculate, the Ben Wheel, because the Ben Wheel then begin to support this nonsense. All those people who are support the Ayabachu, when I can't see them, now I resort that. That is a result of extremism. This has nothing to do with any political objective because political objectives are realistic in nature. The strategy to attain political objectives are realistic and this is definitely not one that is meant to attain any political objective because it cannot. This hurts our people. This destroys our, our livelihood. This is just complete nonsense. So let everybody, you look at these things and you see that nobody hates anybody for no reason. Nobody did not force the ADF to do this. Ayabacho came out and explained to the people what they are going to do. Let us listen to the, follow the rest of the video. Taxis from, uh, or motorable vehicles from, from six. We will shut down Mezam indefinitely. <laughs> Man, they love lesson or something for laughs. Eh? I'll be very sorry for the pain we were people did go through and the anxiety we all Ambazonian did go through across the globe because everybody is fed up with this man Ayabacho. This is somebody who is claiming that they want to lock Mezam indefinitely. <laughs> it reminds me of this Nigerian comedian, this pastor, who says that I have Rebadu, I have Kokorundu's Paranda, I have so much power i have the power <laughs> i don't know if people know this music the guys they have the power i have ribadu skondoros parandoros and skomborondodos i think if this is the biggest comedy i have ever seen in my life hey, about you that you want to lock down meza you have banned taxi yellow taxi no one taxi driver have not obey your ban for taxi no matter the killing and intimidation of our people, no one of them have changed the color of their taxi. Yet, it is La Republic that is benefiting from this. Because La Republic, who could not go around and do Kali Kali anymore in Bamenda? Now you have handed our people in a platter of gold to La Republic to go and harass people who have painted, who had previously painted their, their vehicles in blue and white. Before in Ambazonia, during the death, during death celebrations, funeral, and all those things, we had encouraged the diasporas, especially those in China, to make sure that all their decorations are painted in blue and white, so that we can continue to exhibit our identity as Ambazonians. We had used even plastic papers that were blue and white. I had told you people that if we are not careful, the extremists will wipe out our identity. Today, I have show things that we're doing and going, going away free with them. You are now exposing them to La Republic for annihilation. You are now coming to wipe out anything Ambazonia in Ground Zero with your stupidity and extremism. All because you want to take the headlines. All because you want to dominate the struggle. You want to be seen as a leader. You have the power. You can do the power. So when I see doors, when I see stupidity in confidence, <laughs> that means he is stupid in his confidence. Let me play it so that our people can hear what this short, wicked man from Norway, the poor pot of Ambazonia. ADF is the Camarouge of Ambazonia. Wanna listen? We will shut down Mezam indefinitely. <laughs> uh. Now, night time is I'm supposed to sleep. Anyway, even I would down my eyes, I'm supposed to sleep now. But I just get caught up about me that I need to do this presentation. Now, I have a choice to talk, say, they will shut down Mezam indefinitely. You and who? First of all, you don't have a power. You cannot shut Mezam. 
the small ADF boys that are left in town that you send to go and disrupt our city are criminals, are cartels. Nobody see them like liberators. They come and they harass our people. So this is your lockdown of Mezam. It is good to ambu ambush our taxi drivers, kill few taxi drivers, burn down properties, and then you post it on social media that you have killed the Cameroon army. All Ambazonians are celebrating when a Cameroon military is being killed. Ambazonians, we celebrate. Even those who, who disagree, agree that our soldiers have the right to carry out actions. But not against our own people. You, like Amba, you are Yabachu, you focus your time attacking the same people that we are protecting. What a curse, what a stupidity. Just because you want to look strong, do you have the power to even change the color of taxi? Eh, hey, Mr. Yabachu? So, make we play, make we here. And going forward, we will divert traffic straight into Momo, down Manu, down to Meme. We will escalate. That I can assure you. Uh, good. Good. You escalate how? You escalate by attacking ambushing taxis in Chair Street. Ambushing taxi in Chemist Junction. Is that your escalation? When we were doing the Canada's talk and Cameroon decided to back out because of reasons that you provided to the Cameroon government, we wanted to escalate. The ADF were nowhere to be found. I had to go and beg General Transporter, beg Ebenezer Kwanga, so that Transporter can launch an RPG attack against La Republic du Cameroon in Meme. That is how we escalate. We attack the enemy using all the caliber weapons we have. We use IED, we use RPG. That is how we escalate. You don't escalate by going to lock down Mezam and punish your own people. You don't escalate by going to ambush. When they say hit and run, we hit and run the enemy. You own, your own hit and run is to go and hit and run in Chair Street against taxis, in Chemist Junction against taxis. You are a criminal. You are a petty criminal. You are doing all this, your drama, to project power at the expense of people's livelihood and people's life in ground zero. Can't you see it? How are you so wicked? This short, wicked man. So, we're going to hear. We will escalate. We can't take these shenanigans anymore. And we must be prepared. Wherever you are. So, this is the escalation Ayabachu is talking about. This is the escalation. This is the lockdown of Meza. You have Rebadu. You have Pongos Kurubarashu. You have the power. <laughs> uh, clown. So these are the these are our people. This is a mature escalation. The town is going on normal. So that is the escalation of Ayabachu. The escalation is ambush, hit and run against our innocent civilian population. He has murdered 39 people and counting this year alone. Far more than the Cameroon military. So who is a danger to our population? Ayabachu now or La Republic? At one point in this struggle, Mark Barata famously said that if you put Chris Anu and Paul Bia, he will kill Chris Anu first. Today, our people should know that the ADF, the Ayabacho forces have become an imminent danger to our identity, our culture, and our liberation struggle. And our people should do them right to put them where they belong. It is no longer a debate. If people were doubting why I abandoned Ayabacho, you can clearly see for yourself what is happening in Ground Zero. And I should tell our people that the thing that you should thank God is that Ayabacho don't have the power he which he has. Because if he had that power, 
half of our territory will be in jail. They could have killed everybody who is landed. He is a poor pot of Ambazonia. The international community brought us to Cambodia to show us the damage that was done to that country by a group called Kamaruj, called under the leadership of Pol Pot, who studied in France. People went to the diaspora to study, to come home to build their country, but some people, they take that education to destroy their own people, and this is the real danger we face today. Fellow Ambazonians, you remember I gave a challenge to the ADF for seven days that they should go and attack La Republic du Cameroon army when I declared a cessation of hostility by the People's, by the People's Right Advocative Platform. The reason why I made that challenge was to demonstrate to our people what we know confidently, that the Ambazonian struggle do no longer have the power and authority and capability to carry out operations that are engineered by the political organizations. There is no organizations any longer in Ambazonia that can directly carry out attack with the, that is politically motivated. There is none. That is why we gave that order. We have come to Toronto to meet the soldiers. We know them personally. We bear this capacity. And right now, there is no armed forces in Ground Zero that sits and listens to any organization in the diaspora for instructions. That means the boys on the ground are totally cut off from any political control. The agenda for independence, the agenda for liberation have become secondary. Right now, the boys on the ground, for the, mass, for the vast majority of the, the, of, of the cases, are now being controlled by their economic interests. These are the people that control the soldiers. And Rebacho just continue trying to project himself over those boys, giving legitimacy to what they are doing. There are legitimate Ambazonian fighters on Ground Zero that are focused to fight for the country and we see their conduct every day. We can distinguish them from the ADF. Whatever they are doing now have been neutralized, have been undermined by the radical and extremism of Ayabachu. So our people should know that. This man do not represent our people, neither does he represent our struggle. He's an extremist whose only place is in jail. The day Ambazonian will meet you, Ayabacho, they will lay hands on you. You will know the difference between Kaki and Leda. For this moment, I want to play an audio of one of our mami who have listened to Ayabacho and watched these videos. And this is the audio she shared in a chat group that I want to share with you people so that everybody can listen. <laughs> um. Amazonians, it really be a surprise to me. I don't really believe that this so called Ayabato na Amazonian people. <laughs> For me, I get some instinct. Say this Ayabato na Bamiliki Piki. We come. The same me can destroy Amazonian soul. Because I never see somebody will be so harmless like this. You did take decision and those people where they, they follow you will not talk for that fight. Yeah, get nearly all my people then from Grand Zero. They don't care me say population don't plan. They don't talk for all population say any number. But now this wicked man, it don't make a now. They genuinely number they go the attack. They don't talk for population say any number. When you see him, you know where he who say where he live. No I'm for military. You say anybody we know a report number. They know, say you know who say where I'm at this day. You know what report you will go in for. So do you want to just a reaction of one of our mammy then for some chat group where I decide for share and for now? We really capture the sentiment of our people then. People they don't get them enough. 
with such treatment that are totally out of touch with their reality, that are totally disconnected with their plight. The plight of our people is to improve their life. The plight of our people, the plight of our people is to free themselves from oppression, not to get more oppression from other people within our, our society. The people have had enough. We have seen Ambazonians going after our soldiers with legitimate reasons. Believe it or not, these are genuine patriots who wants independence, who are part of our struggle. The struggle is not armed. This struggle is not an armed struggle. It's not a war just for fighting sake. It is a struggle for our identity. It's a struggle for our sovereignty. It's a struggle for our people. This is not a coup d'etat we are fighting for regime change. This is not a fight that we are fighting to change the attitude of some SDO or two. So our people should know that we have to free ourselves from Ayabacho and the ADF. Whoever is sponsoring them to instigate them and push them to punish our own people for standing up, that person should face the same fate as the enemy. The ADF Ayabacho is enemy number one to our people's existence, to our identity, and must be treated as such. His clown jokes about closing Meza, attacking our own people, will never stop until they are stopped. The people in Momo fought back until they went back to their own small place there in uh, Ashom. Today we are hearing images that are coming from Kendem, Upper Banyang, where they have gone there again to harass people to collect money. They will do so, collect the money and go away. But our people should know that where is big number today? With all the milliard that he collected, where is the money? All the money that the Ayabacho they are collecting, that is why sometime I was with them, I did, not, I did not even go to do fundraising with them because all money was coming and disappearing in the hands of the SG. They will send some money to whatever they, they are doing with the money. But the real fighters that we had in, in uh, Bui, they were not given arms. Fighters that were joining the ADF were not giving arms. Money was just going. Lucas was receiving so much money that he was not picking up money from people. You people enrich yourself from blood money. All this your drama, you do like this to destroy our own people. I believe some people doubt when I initially was saying this thing. This is somebody who have a PhD, so you know that he can think for himself. You know that he knows that what they are doing is destroying the struggle. What they are doing is killing our people. And yet he does that. God alone will leave you to conclude the reason behind Ayabacho's activity. Do you think that Ayabacho wants to change the color of taxis in Bamenda? You'll be, you'll be the biggest fool to believe that he know, that is what he's trying to do. No, he's not trying to change the color of taxis in Bamenda. He knows that those colors of taxi cannot be changed. He knows that there is no need to change colors of taxis in Bamenda. What Ayabacho is trying to do, is to gain air time to become popular and to become strong at our at the expense of our people's life and he's willing to give blank blank check to thieves and hoodlums to go and do this type of things he's not fighting to free anybody his strategy is not a strategy to free our people even a fool knows that so i want me when i get know it happen i will call on our people for continue for resist the ADF Idanka ambush na taxi them for Chair Street and for Chemist Junction. Leave the Camaro military alone. So, for people they're gonna know. For the Ayabachui war, they decreed the retoxed Rango Ki na Tiri Camaro military <laughs> for Brasaris Junction. Now, if we war, na said the talker. So, we need to fight for free our people. It is very critical that we, we come together as Anglophones to face our reality and to know that our struggle and our plight have been taken hostage by extremism. These are not people who are the most influential within our society, but a small group of radical people can tarnish the image of an entire struggle and maintain a cycle of violence that will be endless in nature. We cannot accept such violence and for our country to become like Mexico or Haiti. We cannot accept criminal gangs running over our city who are not there to protect our people or to support their livelihood, who have no vision to better the life of our people, but their vision is a draconian type of system that they go and kidnap innocent people for, make, for money. They extort money from our people, the same like what we are fighting from Cameroon. 
We cannot accept that. We must <coughs> push for a political solution that will end this war. We all know the reason why our boys are still fighting. It's because the society, our community, understands that we are living in an unjust country. We did not join French Cameroon to create this Cameroon that we have today, to live like stateless people and people who do not feel belonging, people whose identity are under torture, people who suffer from marginalization. We came into this union as Pan-Africanists, despite the will of our people being undermined by the British, but we still embrace the Francophones. We have shared culture with them. It is time for us to solve this problem and have a, set, a, a negotiated settlement of this problem so that the reason why the fighting goes on should stop. This killing by Abachu and this extremism should be a reason for Paul Bia, if truly he loves that Cameroon, to make the right decision and allow our people their freedom. Accept the peace plan paper so that the legitimacy of these arms and criminal gangs that have now taken over the fighting will come to an end. A political settlement that is just is the only way forward to end this madness. When we have a solution, our population will then end the war. We can end this war. We can take, make sure that no Amazonian fighter who is a criminal now working for this money will have a reason to do so. And this will only come with a political settlement. For the meantime, we'll continue to deal with criminals like Ayabacho and those within the regime as well, Atanganjipo and their group and the Konda titles that will continue to prey on our people. But we stand for the right of our people, we stand for their dignity, we stand for their identity, and we stand for the preservation of this identity in a one Cameroon, two country, one Cameroon, two system, one country, two people. That is the only formula which we can live together with. We have to end the hatred, we have to end hate speech, we have to reconcile, we have to ask for forgiveness. We have to receive the forgiveness that the Cameroon have apologized. They have done so publicly, we are doing so publicly. There will be a time where we will have to do it face to face. But we have to reconcile with the Francophones. We have to reconcile as Cameroonians. The anger should end. The hate speech should end. Anybody who think that we cannot live with Cameroon should tell me how can General Sa Sa Saigon forgive Sako. If we can we can forgive Sako and still entertain him, if people like Ayabacho still are entertained in our community, then how we have defeated the purpose for which we are fighting for. The least we can do for our people is to return back a country that is better than what we have before. And we have an opportunity to do so. If we don't do so, we will end up with people like Ayabacho and Atanganjipo. So may God bless you now. We will continue for the push for the solution to end the crisis. God bless you all wherever you are.